Hey guys, it's New Master, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, one of the components that I used for my random maze generation. That is the random element of the random maze generation. Uh, it's a really compact uh, random number generator that uses some 1.5 mechanics. Uh, I don't think anybody's done this before. I I haven't really searched for it, but um, it uses a dropper and a hopper dropper into hopper <laughs> and um, basically uh, it it uh, uses the fact that a dispenser or a dropper will dispense one of the items inside of it at random so it'll, it has a random chance of dropping either this one or this one using the game code uh, but previously you really couldn't do anything with that because it doesn't it doesn't um, you can't really detect that prior to 1.5 but now you can uh, because tools give off a greater signal than normal blocks I'll just demonstrate this by getting uh, actually I'll just use a hopper so if I put a uh, just a normal block in here it will it'll only be a signal of one but if I put a, a uh, like a tool like a diamond sword in here you can see it's a signal of three. So if you have a line that's too long, you can tell whether or not it has a normal block in it or a diamond sword or or any uh, any tool actually. And this is how the random element of this works. It has a dropper. The dropper shoots up one of its items. It's randomized which item, and if it's the tool then it will output if it's the stone then it's it won't output so that is how it generates a random number uh, just to give an example here I have a, a dropper with a one diamond sword and a piece of cobblestone this has a one in two chance of triggering this is the one I used in my device because each one needed a one in two chance so there you go And then you can make other probabilities as well, like uh, 1 in 4 by uh, sticking different amounts of items in here. So it's 3 cobblestone, 1 sword. And this one seems to be triggering a lot. It has nothing to do with... Yeah, there it goes. No, it's not. I'm just, I, just, I just was getting lucky. Um, and then I have a two-thirds chance just to show that you can uh, make it different probabilities um, by changing the number of diamond swords or tools in here as well. So I have two tools and one block in here. So uh, it's two-thirds chance. Alright, so... Uh, so I used, um, this is what I use in my random maze generation to produce random numbers. Uh, I'm probably going to make a video on how that works. Uh, it'll be kind of long and uh, kind of a long explanation because it's pretty complicated. But I would like to point out that um, uh, I think the guy's name was MBZone who showed me this. Uh, thanks a lot to him. This really helped me make my thing. Um, yeah. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll hope to see you next time. One thing I forgot to point out is that these blocks in here actually need to be different types of blocks for it to work, because otherwise they'll stack. So, uh, uh, like, you need different types of blocks in there. So, like that. Now it'll work. That's probably why this was, uh, generating, generating its, uh, is it true so many times before? Alright. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.